that's a weird one. <laughs> Welcome to a new live stream. doing welcome welcome my name is john skippy Limcool. hands together head bowed welcome welcome wow so have i got some fun goodies for all of you my gosh welcome to you guys welcome to the live stream We're just starting up my gosh um Oh, I need to update the artwork. Hold on a second. Let me fix my thumbnail. My thumbnail is old. I should try to get the links to all of these libraries. Um, I'm a little behind the clock today. I must apologize. There we go. So there's so much to show you. There are four unified libraries equaling more than 2,600 patches. This is uh, part of Spitfire Labs, this drum kit. But of course it's unified, so we don't just do drum kit. That's, that's so boring. drum kit with grooves and you have a knob so you can this is a free download both Spitfire Labs is a free plugin from Spitfire Audio uh, let's see here this has the soft piano embedded inside of a unify that's embedded inside of a unify how's that They have all of these libraries. In fact, here, let me pop up the page. Uh, Spitfire Labs. Labs. So labs.spitfireaudio.com is where you go for all of these goodies. Uh, let's see, let's close this window. Close this window. Too many windows so we can't see. But they have all of these instruments, so many. I think there's close to like four gigabytes. Uh, one of my customers, Robert Peevler, com committed to converting all of the Spitfire Labs patches into unified patches. And then I made 10 bonus patches at the end that use all of these, li not all of them. I think there's a few that I didn't use. But these are some of the coolest sounds. I have to tell you, I am just really blown away with what this collection of samples can give you that um, you might not first notice just from playing the libraries by themselves. But when you combine them together, um, let's do this. Let's start with a uh, little house on the prairie. <laughs> and in each one of these, if you go to the save page, it will tell you what the required libraries are that you need to own. You have to have Amplified Cello Quartet, Arctic Swells, and Dulcimer. And when you have installed the VST2 version of Labs with the Spitfire Audio application, their, their application, by the way, makes it really easy. Let's go over here. I'll show you how this works. Once you've got Labs, you just go to the Labs tab on their app and you can down, I, these are all installed. Some say that they're not, but they're they're confused or something like that. But they're, they're there. And so by doing that, that makes it so that I can now call up. Sounds like this. This is combining three different libraries.
I mean, game over. Uh, there's cool BPM. Using Pump House to take pads and turn them into rhythmic elements. And so this one requires synth pads, piano pads, and textural pads. <laughs> and then you can have this one. A toy Box Laboratory. This is using um, a Unify patch, the, where did I put it? Um, there's trembling and there's timing stuff. Oh, this one might push my computer. It wasn't doing this earlier. Let's see here. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's gonna push the computer. Anyway, it's got a lot, my toy patch, DX, uh, something's up, so hold on, reset. Uh, yes, so we will let you discover that on your own. It will play on your computer, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> but when I'm streaming at the same time, it's too much. Um, but beautiful sounds like this are in this library, and it's free. Uh, maybe ice cream. I like to say ice cream. So all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, and the quiet of the day is really pretty. So if you need these types of patches, it says, love the library because it is before audio cinematic in tone. game over and it's all free so the, the combination that makes this work is it's in unify where we can layer things make it a patch save it quickly call it up just push a button and here's four or five layers There's these trumpets. Tape orchestra and the synth pad. Put it all together. Take this, go up here, add the drum kit. Right? Then do this. Um, let's hold down Option and take down each of these keyboard sounds for the pad down one octave. And then go to C minus two on all of these layers and right click on them and play middle C. And that limits them all to middle C. So then I could go to, oh, I don't have Cloud City in here right now. Uh, just a standard library, just want a bass sound. So I could go over here, even a bass split would be pretty cool to add with this. So we could say bass split, even the piano with FM. Add this so I have a bass now and. Pad, it can work in all sorts of situations besides just slow cinematic stuff. You could and 
if you go to the drum groove, the drum groove is called one knob, eight grooves. Open the unify layer, go to the knobs, spin this knob. A drum group to play with it's swingy or there's a bossa nova hidden in here or there's toms and then a tom with snare and then a bossa nova is up here And then if you really wanted to get this to work right, you could set it up as a latch so it's not, you say I take my hands off the keys, it does this thing. So if you wanted to set it up as a latch, all we'd need to do, let's do it from the top level. We would go to this drum part, click on G8 and play C. And then on the bass part, click on C minus two and say C sharp. So the drums are all by themselves on C down here and then go over here to the latch mode on the MIDI where it says in, click and set this to mono latch and turn it on. There. Right? Um, to, to take it to the final step, you'd go to the transport and limit this also to C so that the other keys don't restart the clock. So now it starts. Take my hands off. And start and stop it just by playing a key. So it's easy to take these to all sorts of cool places. I should check my chat to see what you guys are talking about. Uh, yes. Yes, so it's a really fun converted library, the uh, labs. All of these different libraries, some have just like, some have just one sound. There's one <laughs> choir, just has one thing of choir in it. So it's, uh, it's very nice. Right? The drums is right here. Down the bottom range is up here's it from flams and additional. So I use that, I made MIDI files, I made eight, and that's down here in the Z bonus section at the end of the list. There's ten. Uh, Eight drums on one knob is where you play a note. And then you can... There's a couple different snare sounds. Okay, so that's there. The whirly is nice. And just like Spitfire's other BBC, it takes a minute for samples to load. And a lot of them are really soft, so I tend to, if I'm going to use it with other things, go to dynamics, stereo gain, <laughs> add like 11 dB, okay. maybe 8. Uh, there's a soft piano right here as a single. This is the, everybody loves the soft piano. Load this by just going here and say load into unify in one layer. And again, you can turn it up louder if you want. Let's turn it up louder, then turn them both down a little bit. And then let's go to, they have a library called Strings. Strings 2 is right here. They have these really nice bar talk samples. They have long, short, the swells are beautiful. You could load that and now. So 
So they have these wonderful different elements you can work with. Now I'm going to show you through the live stream some things that we're doing for Unify for an update that's coming in a week or two, maybe two or three. <laughs> oh, as soon as we can, we're, we're working on some things, cleaning up some things, but I asked Shane for a couple uh, usability improvements for when I'm making sounds. Um, I've come across quite often where, and you can tell me if you do this too, um, you go into the Unify layer, you go over here, you say copy this layer, and then you paste it to this layer so that you don't see it as a Unify layer, you just want to see it as the plugin that it is. And it's from one of the Unified libraries typically, so it's just one layer of, of a patch. But we now have a shortcut right here at the top to take this from being Unify with labs inside, go over here, say Im replace with the embedded instrument one and boom, it's labs. So it's, it's taken and done that copy, paste, replace automatically for you. And on top of that, we have it as a hotkey. So if you hold down control and option and click, boom, now it's labs. So it will only do the first layer. So this isn't one where if you've, you did a, if you've loaded a complex Unify patch with lots of layers and stuff, then this doesn't work. But quite often I find after I build these, I want to get into here really quick and change something if it's a synth. Say I'm going to go over here and I'm playing. Let's go to OBE, which is a new Mac only at the moment synth. I'm so sorry for all my PC friends. Um, but if we say, load this as a Unify layer. And I wanna see this as, I like this sound. This is kind of the flow is that you can use this process to go open up the browser and surf around. Maybe that works better, I like that better. So now I can close it and I can use my little command to go boom. And now it's just OBE. So I no longer have as a Unify layer. So now I can open this up quickly to edit. I don't have to open the Unify layer and then open the edit. Let's see Skype real quick, see what we have going on. Uh, so yeah, it, oh, I shouldn't be trying to see here. Go over here. <laughs> This side, um, see all the comments. People are <laughs> very happy getting stuff. Please show keyboard. Oh, okay. I will in a minute. Anyway, so by doing this and showing keyboard, you're able to substitute out Unify layers quickly and easily. So that's a really nice feature that we've added for the... I think this new version will be called 1.4. Speaking of other unified libraries, let me show you some more of the OBE. We saved out all 600 and I think eight patches in Unify format. So you can push a button. I have a video up showing um, the OBE. It's a wonderful synthesizer. Uh, G4 Software did a great job of nailing. And from my understanding, their developmental tools for this were on the Mac, which is why they don't have a PC version, but they're going to work. I, as I said in the video, Instead of writing nasty comments and stuff, just sub write, write, and just say, I love what you're doing. You can enjoy some of their other plugins that they have made that are equally impressive in their both auth authenticity and the um, just the overall flexibility. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's do that. So I can show you through some of the patches. There's really cool DX. Just 
just sounds so beautiful. It's a eight voice only. Each of these squares, if you hit zoom, equals one synthesizer expander module, which is what Oberheim used to call their voice. And there are eight boxes. There's four on the bottom row and then four on the top row. And very similar, if you remember OBXD, our synth that's inside of Unify, we have some of these. We're, we're nowhere near the authenticity of an emulation, but um, OBXD also has the ability for panning each of the voices to different areas in the stereo field. To do that in OBE is over here. You have the voices and you have pan pots for each of the voices. And I muted that so you don't hear it. Which means if I wanted, I could... Let's take a couple of these and make them out of tune a little bit. Make that flat. So now when I play... You get each of these voices independently mixed. Each voice could be a completely different sound. They have patches down here, uh, like, uh, uh, here we go, Donkey Matic Groove. I have to have a sequence playing for this to work. So if it's over here, yeah, don't do that. You want to be here. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh huh. Um, something there's. I've had this happen with the OBE uh, from time to time, where it will do something to the memory buffer on my computer, and audio is no longer available. Uh, I told uh, it's version one point so there might be something in there going on. I it, there has to be because it's very strange. <laughs> Um, as to links, let me put these into the video description for the libraries. I'm sorry, I, I'm behind the time. I, I got to bed at like 4.30 this morning to get this all done. So I didn't get a chance to put the links up yet. So let me copy the link and go here to Bazil Unified is this link. Just take a second, and then you guys can have the links to everything to download. Um, and then Spitfire Labs, Unified, copy the link. And then, 
I'm going to show you FM Tines here in a minute, which we've unified and OBE copy link G force OB E unified and then spit. Oh, I did lab, so I need a FM Tines two unified. If you're not familiar with that plugin, I'm going to show that to you in a minute. It's a really, really cool um, copy link. There. I have saved into the video chat. So look under the video. Hit <clears throat> for more information. That should be updated. Um, yeah. So we have unified. One of my customers unified Spitfire Labs. So that is available and it's wonderful as well as, let me show you the four libraries that we've unified. So you can go download them. If you have these plugins, you need to have the VST2 version of the plugin in Unify. It doesn't work with VST3 or audio unit. All the patches are saved. But we have Spitfire Labs. All of the libraries are saved in Unify format. And you can take and right click and add Add some guitar harmonics, which are wonderful. Turn everybody else down and turn these up. Really, really cool stuff. Um, there's 10 bonus patches at the end. I've made all sorts of really cool layered things and some beautiful things and uh, it's really cool. free because I love my customers. Um, then we've done uh, Bazil, 1,500 patches. How many patches, Skippy? Uh, 1,541 patches for Bazil. Just insane. And they are all able to be tempo sync, so you can do... You will explore all sorts of new things when you start playing with the ability to layer all of your synth patches. Then go over here on the output, go to dynamics, add a pump house. For those of you that want a little quick tutorial on how to use pump house, you can hit the load button, which will show you a page of presets. Sidechain curve will give you the and then here's your depth. Bring it down a little bit. If you want to get into doing wacky cool presets, we have this folder I had Shane make of curves. Up to 64 steps. <laughs> Check this out. If you go and step down, it puts 64. If you go to eight measures. eighth notes but there's no way to edit with this our current <clears throat> you can hold down option and bring up and down levels without moving their timing so if you hold down option <clears throat> but let's not do 64 let's say like um four or eight's really good step down curves is typically what you use then change your clock to like say one major so now you have this in a place where you can edit the old, hold down option, lets you change levels. And then if you don't hold down option, you can change the shapes of the curves. So you can make cool rhythmic patterns. And then you can assign this to a knob so you can change the rate of playback so that it can go from So go to a knob, let's say we go to the second page or the third page, Bazil has actually three pages of knobs because I've got tunings to all four oscillators, to all the phase distortion settings. For every Bazil patch, there's like 16, let's see, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 
23 knob assignments. <laughs> so we could go to this one that's not used. Go here, say link parameters. Let's say we want the full range, or actually we'll just say from here down. So use this option for what's gonna make for the curve. Go here to instrument, go to master effects, pump house, beat division. And just like that, notes so you can do all sorts of cool timing things and it will go so fast it becomes an actual oscillator in rate if you want so pump house is badass they go over here to our library bpm kick Let's add just a four on the floor. BPM snare. Let's go here to hi hats. Add a couple hi hat patches. Two. Let's turn everything down so we can get the kick. Now, to actually do this at this point, I'd go, oh, I shouldn't have a pump house on the master because it's taking the drums down too. Instead of hearing this, it's... So then I would probably shoot pump house over to an auxiliary bus and I would send the direct off and I would send them to auxiliary one. Like I could say auxiliary one, auxiliary one, auxiliary one. Get rid of these guys. Say we don't want these effects. Copy the pump house preset parameters. Copy, delete pump house from there, apply it here, go dynamics, pump house. I can now say paste those settings so I have the same settings as I had. Need to go to my knob. Oh, it lost the setting when I deleted the effect. So I just have to do it again. Go over here and say, I want the full range. So I want the full range. Go to auxiliary, effect, pump house, beat division. There. Now they're going to an auxiliary bus that has pump outs. Right? So you can get to there. It's just, if you put an effect on the master effects, everything goes through it. So you can use the auxiliary buses, turn down the direct signal and send it all straight through the auxiliary bus at zero dB. And now it's a signal pass, just as if they were all at, at normal volume, but now their audio chain is grouped into an auxiliary bus. So like if you get um, Airwaves Melodic Techno, he does this a lot to group things together that are gonna be processed a certain way, so. Uh, VPS Avenger is coming. <laughs> it's not here yet, but we have, there's so many things that have been unified. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I can't keep up. <laughs> um, in fact, I'm probably going to slow down a little bit because I can't get anything else done except work on these libraries, which is cool. Very, very cool. But I need to be working on other things as well. So yes, Spitfire Labs, Bazil with all of its amazing... <laughs> And there's knobs assignment. In fact, check this out. Well, this just has a center indention and then it's up an octave. In the middle is a flat point. Bazil works in an interesting way. It's West Coast. Which we control. And I tried to assign the filter cutoff to everything. There are so many parameters. Check this out. If you look at the list of parameters for Bazil, it's huge. <laughs> There's multiple ways to do things. And so I maybe missed 
something. I thought I did all the filter cutoffs, but you didn't. some patches will be, you'll need to study a little bit. If, like your filter cutoff is working, right? So it's fun to have all these patches, pads, synths, 1500 patches for Brazil are unified. Layering them will get you into all sorts of fun stuff. It loads super fast. I mean, it's... Um, so we have OBE from GeForce. For those of you that have OBE, they have been unified. Uh, one thing about this, make sure that you go to settings and you turn on always set follow host. I suggest keeping that on as a default. Another couple uh, settings to keep on by default if you want. Um, uh, CPU meters, I like to have that on by default. So that way it shows you these meters by default when you call up Unify. Uh, Spitfire Labs, Bazil, OBE, and then FM Tines. This is an interesting library from, I hadn't heard about these guys, but actually he's got a YouTube channel that's really great for gospel musicians. And he teaches incredible chord theory, things how to do neo soul chords. And I mean, he's an amazing player. Um, Tons of bells and then even more tons. Look at all these keys of just really cool. They're all sample based. Um, all sorts. MKS50, DX7, SY88, S99 were mainly what he sampled, it seems. I need to check something because I had a conversation going with him. Let's see if he replied. Nope. And then at the end of this, I did 10 bonus patches right here so there's in fact uh, i think shane did four of these he did lead crystal uh giving it my everything Just a cool groove, jam over. It's a combination of FM tines, Unify sounds, as well as a drum groove from Unify. There's nice keyboard sounds. So if you're in a gospel team at a church or something, you probably know about gospel musicians. This is a really nice plugin and all of these added. Really nice. assignments for some of the patches here's so much tingle i need sunglasses that's the dx part it's thinking about the other part
In fact, you have a control on the knobs for the tingle EQ. So you can take it down. So. Right? All that's doing is adjusting the flex EQ, high EQ. If I move this out of the way, this is high shelf means that anything from this frequency, if it's at uh, 2468 hertz and above, I'm controlling that. Either remove all that frequency or add it and emphasize it. So you have controls like that in some of the patches. Really fun. So there you go. Let's do this. I want to show you a new feature that we've been working on. I think I'll do this with something from Spitfire Labs, one of these bonus things that are a whole bunch of cool layers. Um, maybe in the quiet of the day. This is three parts. Let me add a fourth part. Maybe a pad. I'm going to add it as unified layer first. And go up. Oh, it's not right. So open the unified layer, open the browser, and find... No. Well, that's nice. Maybe I want strings. Let's do the strings ensemble. And then what I do in some cases like this where it's soft, go to EQ. You can even add just a filter max. Flex EQ will give you all the EQ parameters. I just want, I know I want a high shelf. So I go over here and I say high shelf, EQ, high shelf. Be set right there and then turn it down and depending on your db determines the shape the slope the severity of this and i hear it's a little strong in the left so i'm going to pan it to be more centered let's bring up the auxiliary send Now this is a case where I'm not going to turn it into a unified layer, uh, do that conversion. One of the things that we have I showed earlier was replacing with embedded VST instrument one. What that would do is it would remove the auxiliary bus, it would remove the master bus, and it would copy this layer one of labs with the filter. It would replace it right here, but it would get rid of my auxiliary bus that I'm using. Now I do see that I have an auxiliary bus at the top. So if I wanted to, I could try it. But remember it's gonna, you, we don't have an undo. So if you do this and it doesn't work, save it first before you try things that you're not sure if it's the result you want. So if we were to save this, let's just say to the user library uh, in the quiet of, let's call it Waves. Uh, save as, save. <laughs> So I can get this back now because I saved it. So let's try it. If we go over here and we say replace with the embedded instrument one, boom, this just becomes labs with the filter max. Um, and then I can bring up the auxiliary bus. That works. Now I'm gonna show you a new feature that's experimental. We're still working on this. It will probably be modified and improved over time. We have developed a way of muting each of these layers without canceling their notes or effects. So that you can, in a live situation, play with this layering of four sounds to turn off parts, turn on parts, using a nano control or any keyboard controller that you want to use. So what we do, I think I have this all set up so I can just turn these on and 
Nope. Okay. So let's go to Korg Control Editor. See what my Nano Control is set to right now. Uh, that looks right. Uh, so I should have control over the uh, cancel. Let's let's send this over just to make sure. So we say write scene data. So we write that over. So now, huh, maybe because I'm in logic and stream, because maybe is this, Shane, is this a DAW only? Is this a standalone only? It might be standalone only. So let me do this. Let me go to a empty audio in um, logic so I can run unify standalone. And let's go over here. It's, remember, I saved. So we go over here and say, in the quiet of the ways. Yeah. So it's standalone only. But in the standalone application, check this out. Make sure you guys can see what we're doing. And this looks good. A little bit smaller here. First of all, I have sliders for the volume of everything, so I can control the mix. Here, let me go to the top-down camera. Is it working? So I'm using a nano control, as you can see right here. If I push the little lit R button, look at on the screen. I can turn on and off each of the layers by pushing the R button. It's what we have it assigned to. You can assign it to what you want. But what's cool with this, I could have these two off. Turn those off, turn the other two on while I'm holding the notes. The notes are sustaining of the first two. You still hear them. It no longer cancels like a normal solo mute. It's looking at the MIDI data that's being played so it respects, so I can say, okay, I want the piano by itself. Turn these on. Three's too loud, turn it down. Isn't that cool? <laughs> We've wanted to do this. So this is coming in the next update for free to you wonderful people. Cool. It's just once you start playing with this, you're going to be so excited to have the ability to. Turn those off. They're still playing. So that is something we're really excited about. Cool. So that is one of the cool things. So you can do live performance now.
turn off everything but the piano. So, again, this is one of the patches for the Spitfire Labs free libraries and plugin. But <laughs> four of them together. You take someone that's used to programming Korg synthesizers and workstations where, um, you know, you have all the patches and all of a sudden you have all these samples and in Unify, you can combine them and all of a sudden it becomes really fun. Now listen, I'm gonna give you guys an opportunity. If you wanna play with these and make your own layered patches, there is so much incredible source here. I, I spent a good probably eight hours at least making the 10 patches that I have here. If you wanna make some patches and send them to me in the next week, I'll give you a one week cutoff to play. I will put them into a new updated version of this library and give it to everybody. Because there's so much source here, I'd love to see what other people do with it, right? So I'll do that. I was questioning whether I wanted to do it or not because it's a big commitment of energy and time and there's other stuff going on. But I'd like to see what you guys come up with. So if you have the time and want to, download Labs, Get all of these amazing sample libraries and then start building and see what you create in Unify and save it. Um, don't worry about the what the Unified name is. Make sure you put, if you can, in the comments about requires, what libraries you use is important to put into the comments. A little information, put your own name if you want or use Plugin Guru if you don't want your name to be included. Um, and I will put together whatever you guys come up with. And we'll play with them. Okay. Um, there's another library that just went on sale. Uh, there's two days left for getting Contact Del Norte or Omnisphere 2 Del Norte at a re really nice, sweet price. Um, and I've added Mega Magic Bells and Winds, which has also been unified. Ask Skippy to set up my website to automatic. Ask to subscribe. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry for giving you guys more stuff to learn and more opportunity. You know. No, I'm not. You know, the thing with Unify that I really love is you get to learn your plugins and how they work. You have to know plugin formats um, and the, per the kind of the personality of them. You learn that a lot more deeper, I think, than if you're just using it to call up a sound and play something in a song. Uh, it takes it to a more intimate level with your plugins, which I think is pretty special. So the uh, Omnisphere 2 version, the Contact version, for Contact 5, for um, Del Norte. I think Bells and Winds, I'm hoping to keep it at Contact 5, but it might be a Contact 6 only library. Yeah! But you take this core attack and combine it with a core pad and you get something interesting to start. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's tons of drums, glitch, Cool keyboard sounds in this library. 
This is this is the Del Norte, which is based on me sampling my virus TI2 while I spent about a week in the Redwood Forest. Cool, all sorts of various things that uh Yes. Yeah, when you're when you're unifying a library or just make when you start working with the plugin a little bit more than just calling it up, oh that's the sound I want and playing it, um you you learn a whole lot of more cool things about it, which I think is really cool. Oh, that's cool. Nasty clavy, where is that? Nasty clavy. All by itself. I want to write to that all by itself. Um, there's so many crazy, beautiful sounds in this library. It's on a special price for two more days. Like inside of this library, just so you know the scale, are all of these different sampled maps. And each one has 15 samples in the contact version. It's only eight samples. If you call it the multi-patches in the Omnisphere version, all the other patches only use a single sample across the keyboard. So these sound much nicer across a whole range. Now the other library that I will be releasing, it's available on sale right now. We were hoping to get this out um, before this live stream and we didn't make it, but it's okay. In the next 24 hours, we will have this up is uh, Bells and Winds. Mega Magic Bells and Winds is another amazing library. Load a couple of these different sounds and it's just like crazy. So beautiful sounds. This is all based on, we. Uh, th there's another library coming for contact in a couple weeks, Mega Magic Guitars. At the end of that session, I have a blue tub with bells and different wood flutes and pan flutes. And I just said to the engineer, I said, just record me for like 20 minutes. Let me just go through. And I just played everything I had. And I wasn't sure if I'd pull a couple samples out of it. So much of what I played was just totally usable, really like, oh my gosh, this is really cool. So I made it its own separate library. If you go to the Plugin Guru website, which is right here, by the way, this video is sponsored by PluginGuru.com. If you click this or whatever the current sale library is, it will take you to a page called Current Promotions. And whatever's on sale, I need to add to this. I don't have everything on this page that I want to add as far as like, um, I think we have Bells and Winds. We've got the Uniscream is a free library for Unify, but there's also the four Dragonfly reverbs. Um, I'll put Show MIDI and Mod Mate, so they show up here too. But Del Norte, are they're on sale. And even more on sale is Mega Magic Bells and Winds for Contact. Um, we say contact five right now, but again, it might be contact six. So uh, we're trying to suss it out. I, I can get it to be contact five on the Mac. I'm not so sure about contact five on the PC. So we'll figure that out uh, after the live stream. And if you, buy, if you buy it now, you can download later. I'll send out an email letting everybody know um, about the link for the live for the version, the, for the Unify patches. But there's a ton of really cool BPM stuff. There's some really nice bases that are actually coming from unexpected sources. I think this is... Unfortunately, I never made like an oscillator select. You have to actually go into the sample to the mapping page. Yeah, this is a bell, a mallet.
There's harmonicas, which um, it's, uh, I don't think there's a multi-sample. These are, oh, let's see, go here. And... These have reverb on them. The loops are really cool as pads, which are really a special harmonic. I had, I had no idea if the harmonica would work out, but it's really nice. Anything that says loop in the library means it's a slow attack looped sound. So you can load that knowing it's going to be. I froze the harmonics of a kalimba. So there's all sorts of stuff like this. My friend Steve Tavlioni from Los Angeles is a big session guy. I think those are in here, Tav. Um, no, I'll have to find out where they went. There should be these bonus patches from Steve Tavlioni playing that are just incredible that he gave me for the library. Huh. Uh, they will be. How's that? If they're not here right now, they will be. And so that will be come that's actually out now and will be coming out in Unify uh, in the next 24 hours. We'll get it all sussed out. Also, next week, next Friday, um, a new library is coming. And this is a really cool special library called Unichill Volume 1. This was made by a gentleman by the name of uh, uh, Matthias Sauer. He lives in Germany. He writes for an online magazine and he has released a lot of chill tracks himself and so he has created this library just for unify you don't need any other plugins tons of stuff that's just incredibly usable but simple and just so chill oriented that it's just crazy. Go to the bass, add a bass to a new unify layer, and let's drop the range so it's only for the bottom part of the keyboard. You know, all sorts of bass lines for chill. And then BPM chords for chill. So you add one of these. Let's do get this real quick. And take it up to 19, so it's a fifth. So it's really usable source. Like we could take all this, let's right click on all these guys and stop them like a G. Go down here to leads. There's all these really beautiful leads. And let's click, right click down here and we can drag up so we get this to be uh, G sharp. Then go to something like the full library or Cloud City if it was here. Actually, let's get Cloud City real quick. So go reveal and finder. I go to the plugin guru top. Heck, I'm gonna bring this over here because there's stuff you can't see that I've been working on. 
can't show you guys everything. Uh, Cloud City, bring this to the libraries folder, hit rebuild, and... There, so go to Cloud City, go to BPM Drums. Let's say, there for me, load that. And then I could open up the lead since it's a unify layer. Open up the browser, try other leads. So a ton of really usable, beautiful patches for chill, down tempo, even for EDM and stuff because they're uh, it's all kind of just depends on tempo and the type of groove you put behind it. Just great. Cool and simple. Adds layers to it. Add the pearly gates. <laughs> So probably Thursday, I'm going to try to make it like Thursday, Friday, I, I got to work that out when I release new libraries, but Friday for sure at the latest, but it's going to be really cool. Hey, welcome to all you guys. Um, and what's nice is it only needs Unify and it loads lightning fast. Just boom and beautiful pads, tons of pads. Isn't it nice? Combine a couple of pads. just really fun. Tons of ARP, tons of keys, BPM, synth. I mean, the vibe is really great. Go to Cloud City, let's add some percussion with the BPM perk. We can say, oh, let's add from just a single shaker's egg cell and a woody. And let's pan those left and right a little bit. Let's add a buffalo drum. And let's use our shortcut. Let's go here and say replace with embedded instrument one. And just like that, now we see all the settings of that layer. It's pulled it out of that unify layer back to being just a layer. So I could go over here to the groove sample parameters. 
short the sustain of the drum because it was ringing too much low end. So I'm compressing it by using the amp envelope. And let's say I want to go over here. Let's add something fun. Let's go delay, omega delay. And let's add a little distortion to give it a little fuzz. And then let's high pass, or let's just band pass it. There. So now it's in a frequency range to play. So cool. And then go to the BPM, like the center library, go BPM bass. Ah, oh, heck, let's go to Brazil. I love Brazil for bass. And there's all these really cool BPM bass. There's a handful of them here. So say flat tire. Let's see if that works. <laughs> let's open up the browser and try another one. Right-click up here on the range because I want to bring the range down. And I have the right, I've got a cool start to a song. Right? But I've used all these different little elements and stuff to build up to there. Right? Lau has sent me an email while he's in the chat. <laughs> I had a chance to look at this. Uh, new issue with replicating Omnisphere. Um, Lau, send that question to the forums, my friend, because um, I haven't had that situation, and you need to find out if other people are having that problem. So all sorts of fun stuff going on. We've got uh, a couple other things coming for the update. Um, well, here, we can make the sound better. Let's turn everybody down just a little bit because it's really hot. Go over here, replace, go to the master presets, add the optimizer. And because this bass is just sitting there, That's what it's doing. So let's put a little pump house to kind of match that. I can do this type of a curve. Or invert it. Just giving it this little energy change would make a nice change. Find my kick. Got really loud again, so hold down option. Cool. So you have um oh if I'm see oh one of the other things that we're adding to 1.4 is here in, I think this, where did we put it? Uh, EQ, we have Chow Tape Model. This is coming, which will allow you to take and modulate, emulate tape. So we can take this, saturate it, Take off the high end a little bit. You hear all these things that are changing. The... Makes it sound like it's coming from a tape machine instead of from, here's without it. 
you're all that high end that just is there all the time this is really nice to get that to be more of like the mix you'd hear on an album if you want you can enable filtering that will give you the radio mix which is really fun because you can go to the mix cider Go between them if you want. If you want to get more carried away, you can turn on Wow and Flutter, which will. Now we're on Super VHS tape that's been in the backyard in the rain for a couple weeks. So you can mess up the mix really nicely. So this is a free effect that will be coming in 1.4. And then on top of this, the really big thing in 1.4 is we have an AAX plugin that is working great. We've got people using it all over the place. So be aware of that coming. It's going to be very fun. We'll, I'll be making some patches for the standard library that incorporate the use of the new effects. Um, uh, yeah, so. Yeah, Tim, you're right. We want this effect now, don't we? We want to take that harsh high end. It's not that harsh in this case, but there is some high end there. And to like find ways to musically taper it. And the gentleman that created this don't remember his name off the top of my head, but he's a PhD student that's physically modeled. You can actually go find the papers talking about the actual equations used to emulate the, the, the emulsion of tape and how it degrades over time. And it's just amazing. It's a very accurate model of tape and what you can do with it. So you can degrade it even more to make it even weirder and add noise. I mean, you can make it really bad. From this. Here has, it's just amazing. So that's coming, that's very cool. And Lala's talking about something I want to show up for a minute because we did some of this with the unified G-Force. I made one patch down here called the 32 Voice Zolinal Dreams because OBE is an eight voice synthesizer. So you can only play, turn off Polybox and we solo just the first layer just to make sure we're only playing OBE. It's this really, really cool synth. After you hit eight voices, the envelope stopped working, so it's just open. So it's no longer playing with the soft attacks, right? If you let it reset itself back to the eight voices being available, it's got this really nice suite. But once you hit eight voices, boom, its envelopes don't re trigger until it's gotten back to reset. So I'm using Polybox. And I set it to four. So that means there is a pool size of four layers that are set to MIDI channels one, two, three, four. And by doing this, here, let me mute. I added a wood flute pad to make it a little bit sweeter, but now I can play as many notes as I want. And it still hasn't gotten to the point where it's restarting the envelopes to be fast attacks. If I played really fast, I still haven't hit it because our voice algorithm and the eight voices of polyphony per module there you heard it it 
it gets to a point where you you can't do that but in a lot of cases with some of these pads you want to keep it having a sweet especially if you're playing big stretch chords and all sorts of stuff by using polybox and i'm going to show you how to set this up so let's go init from scratch let's do this with a pad so let's find a pad in the ob8 because the ob8 is only eight voices it can't be more than eight voices Lau is talking about using this with Omnisphere to get more out of it because what's fun, and I'll show you an Omnisphere here in a minute. Let's find a pad. Again, hear how it's all of a sudden lost the envelope. And that'll just play straight. So all you need to do is go to Layer, Go to MIDI effects and say polybox for layer. It's a preset that I have made that calls up a MIDI effect at the top because this is one of the cases where we need not the MIDI effect found on the layer, but at the very top so we can control multiple plugins from one MIDI effect. And it's set up, it's ready to go. All you have to do is go here where it says in. This is your MIDI in select. This is where you choose latch modes. And because there's a MIDI effect up here, it now shows up and says polybox for layers. So select that, it's now connected. Uh, set this to MIDI channel one. And now what happens if you stop right here, you can check this, play in notes, plays one note, it doesn't play a chord. When you play the next note, no sound, next time, one. Every four times that I play one note, it will re-trigger. So what it's doing is each note played is being sent to MIDI channel one, two, three, four, and then it restarts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we need to make three more OBEs and set each one to a MIDI channel plus one of this. And it just so happens we have automatic tools to do that right here. Duplicate three next MIDI channel means boom, boom. It has made three additional OBEs exactly of this first one, and it's advanced the MIDI channel. See here, MIDI channels one, two, three, four. So now, I have a 32 voice OBE to play. I'll keep that sweet envelope shape. It won't stop. If I use the mod wheel, it's it's sent to all MIDI channels so they all get the mod wheel. Um, it just works. The, the key that people miss out on is they forget to set the first to the polybox MIDI in for that because then when you go over here and duplicate, it will duplicate listening to MIDI channel one. And then if you want to try this with another patch, we set up a shortcut, hold down option and hit init and it will delete these three and keep number one just as it is. So hold down option, hit init, boom. MIDI layer one stays with that sweet pad. Hit bypass on polybox that you can play chords and here. Then find another patch, open this up, find another sound you wanna do this with. This also works with monophonic sense that you wanna make polyphonic. It also works with Omnisphere. There's a lot of sounds in Omnisphere that if we go down here, we go to favorites, say Omnisphere. A lot of them are fairly CPU heavy because of using granular, using other forms of synthesis in Omnisphere will take more processing power. Let's see. Um, let's go to Mega Magic Viola, maybe some of these uh, BPM pads, I would think get to be a... Let's turn on granular. So my my CPU is getting carried away already. So watch this. Turn on polybox and make three copies of this, just like this. And all of a sudden, Omnisphere is gonna be far less. It's just chugging away at a much softer level. Oh, I forgot to make channel one poly box. Uh, 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 let's try this one more time. Init, 
This is set to MIDI Polybox, four layers, enable. If it's working properly, make three copies. And it's still not working. Um, oh, it's mono. <laughs> so let's go over here to chord. Maybe we lost a setting. It's no longer polyphonic. We'll have to look at that. We've added, as you can see, we have some other modes that we're adding to knobs. I'll probably show you that next week. Voices per channel. Uh, two, three, four. Oh, so do I need, well, I'm not getting any chords. It's not advancing for some reason. Uh, so we have four MIDI channels and everything. And uh, I'll talk to Shane about this because it should be working differently than this. <laughs> this isn't the demo I was expecting to show you guys. Something's not quite right. So we'll figure that out. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. It's probably me. <laughs> Uh, but again, all you do is go MIDI effects, polybox, four layers, connect this to polybox, set this to MIDI channel one, make three additional layers, and boom. Thank you for your time today. So again, uh, Mega Magic will actually contact Del Norte. Mega Magic is it's. I should have called this actually Mega Magic Pads too. Is what I should have called this library, but I didn't. Del Norte is available for two more days, at its introductory price for all these really cool, beautiful pads. Labs has a nice pianos, yeah. Oh, increase the voices per channel. I might not have had that set right. Yeah. So this library is one of my favorites. Two more days on sale in its introduction and bringing all of this patches and samples into being used in Unify via contact. Right? Uh, Mega Magic Bells and Winds is now available. It's not available with these Unify patches yet, but it will very soon, hopefully in the next 24 hours. So that... Right? Really, really cool stuff. All the cool, these these pan flutes and the chippies and all this stuff are really lovely. There's tons of bonus patches at the end for happy munchkins and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> so all sorts of stuff. So those are available then in the unified libraries. We have four libraries this week converted. Bazil with its 1500 plus patches, which are really fun to just load into new find.
what's up? We have GeForce OBE. Also unified. We also have FM Pines. Let's do this. We could right click all these guys. I love this feature. Nobody else does this where you can set them all. Boom. I can go over here and say I want to add. Right? And then Spitfire Labs is on a planet all unto itself because of all the samples and the unique places it can go. It's just beautiful stuff. So enjoy these libraries. The links to these are in the description of this video. And coming in 1.4 of Unify is the ability to mute. Without cutting off notes, we can mute this. Add these. Everybody rings out and does beautiful things. So enjoy. I'm going to go take a nap. No, I'm not. I got to get bells and winds done. So thank you for watching. Let's do our shout outs. Shout outs from wherever you guys are out. See, Don's already on it. Don, you are just wow. <laughs> shout out from New Jersey. Everybody start their shout outs. Awesome. Shout out from PDX. Good to see you all. Hope you enjoyed the live stream. It was very fun. Birmingham, North Yorkshire. Look at all the UK people. Wow. Hello, UK. Santa Clara. Good to see you, Richard. Cool, man. Edmonton, Callan. We've got Canadians in the house. Daniela from Germany. Stockholm. Good to see you, Hinky. Hanging out with you guys charges my batteries, so... Yeah, I've been, because I've been playing so much, I'm really happy with stuff I'm playing. <laughs> so There's a couple songs I started to write in this live stream for sure. So I'm going to go back. So enjoy. It's very fun to have something that we have so much passion for to work on. I'm blessed beyond measure to be able to do. I mean, this is what I love to do is make new sounds, explore new sounds and share them. So it's all, all, all good. Um, for me, the United Kingdom, Unified Kingdom. I like that, Tim. Right on. And Tim has a library coming really soon for Unify. You guys get ready. It's insane. Very, very cool. You won't look at St. Patrick's Day the same. <laughs> Oh, Chris, thank you. Now I have to get you the Unify Library patches. <laughs> okay, be well, you guys. It's good to see you all. Cheers, keep being creative. Good to see some new faces. We 
appreciate your business, your support. Hi, Mel. Melanie's here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, be well. I'll see you guys soon, all right? Cheers. It's been so fun. All right.